Good morning, legends. Hope you're going well. Um, I'm going to bring to you another commentary style sort of video. I'm going to commentate over a couple of roles from last night's Metal Chasers class and just give you some insights into what I think about them and some things that I noticed that were good. Um, we've got this one here between um, Josh and Gary. And then after this one, uh, it goes straight into Gavin uh, rolling Kevin. So hope you enjoy and uh, any feedback, feel free to flick a comment down below. Cheers, guys. All right, Josh playing guard, and Gary's going to be trying to pass here. So Josh with the left hand in the lapel, pulls in for quite a nice uh, high knee shield that he plays, so knee shield guard here. Uh, a good way to play the Z guard with your legs unlocked is a high shield, a bit harder to pass. So with that collar control and the high shield, uh, Gary almost always will have to stand to pass there. As he stands, Josh off balances, and he's looking here for grips to sweep. Sees the opportunity, and there he goes, butterfly sweep straight over. Very nice, took the post out there, pretty smooth. Now, Josh on top in the half guard, and Gary is gonna try to get left hand in the lapel, and right hand control on the sleeve, cat's paw grip. And Josh is uh, weaving his right arm through there to attempt to weave pass. Gary doing a good job here of getting that collar sleeve. Looks for a Kimura, that's going to be tough on Josh. Josh here trying to get that weave, there it is. Now Josh keeping his hand away. He wants to try to grip Gary's right hand and feed it to his own right hand. The hand that's already weaved through the legs. So if he can get control of that and, and pass it through, there he goes, passes it through. He has control now. And now he can start to pass. This is a limiting position for Gary, it's really hard to, to maintain your guard here when all you've really got is your left hand to post with. And here he goes, Josh starts to, to pass around the legs, there he goes. Cradle, looking to consolidate. Gary does the right thing here and turtles over to prevent the guard pass, but now Josh will look to take the back from here. And there he goes, taking the back, two hooks in. Now he's trying to flatten him out. No one likes to be flattened out by Josh Fern. Um, Gary's done well there to recover his quarter guard. So a little bit better position than being flattened out, belly down with two hooks in, but still not great. Josh pins that arm with his knee, looks for the gift wrap here. He now wants that arm, so Gary's uh, right arm is now compromised. So he attacks that right arm, looking to bring his left leg around the head and look for an armbar. Sort of like a high mount position, albeit that he's still in the quarter guard, but still uh, pretty vulnerable for arm bars here. Here he goes, over the top, and now he's gonna force the roll. Here it comes, and rolling into the arm bar, so here we are. Now, at this point, Gary's just trying to hold on. He's gonna look for a hitchhiker escape, and uh, Fern's gonna capitalize on when he lets go and tries to spin out. And yeah, he's gonna take that arm straight away. Nice, smooth armbar. And the round's coming to a close, but here we go. Fern playing a bit of a lazy open guard here. Gary's gonna capitalize, knee through pass. There he goes. Didn't have the unhook in time, so Fernie was able to get um, to his uh, half guard. So Josh Fern playing the half guard now. Looking for the underhook which he's got. Gaz starting to pass, there he goes, knee through pass all the way to side control, well done. And Fernie now starts to look to get out. Controlling the arm, he's gonna start to, start to feed that lapel around to start his escape. And that's time, good round. All right, uh, Kev versus Gavin. So these guys both won their divisions recently at SGT, so champion versus champion matchup at Matchark. Here we go, Kev passing the guard. And Gav's maintaining control from bottom. Kev's passing, there he goes. Onto knee ride. Underhook, Kev spins to just side to reverse knee ride. Very good. 
Gavin defending the Das nicely, gets the half guard back. Lockdown, kind of loses that. Trying to bail out and come up on top. Kev's going to stay low here and, and drive, him, drive him down. Driving, driving. Maintaining top control. Gavin doing well to keep his back off the mat here, but Kev's passing quite well. And they're going to reset here. Busy mat tonight. All right, here they go. Kev's passing again now. Gavin's playing some open guard. Good guard retention. Starting to experiment with some more open guard style stuff, which is good. Bit of spider guard, very good to see. Some different stuff. Yep, yep. Um, the guys experimenting a lot on the mats lately, it's been really good. You really have to get the Kev trying to that stack end. that yeah, definitely. pass. Yeah. Gavin doing pretty well to keep his legs in front here. Using the repel to re-guard there. Squaring up. Yeah. Kev being quite patient, <laughs> waiting for the right <laughs> moment. Sure trying to split the guard. Yeah, yeah. And Gavin wants that right foot free. Lasso on the left. And now the knee shield, Kev starts passing. Half guard. Kevin trying to utilize that lasso to maintain guard position to prevent Kev from passing. Pretty strong smash pass here from Kev. Long step and he's around. Kev got a nice little frame on the hip there, but it's not enough to prevent Kev from getting chest to chest. And he's consolidated here around the guard. Really good job there of off-basing Kev and getting his right knee back through to the guard position. Did really well there to reset the position. And standing up. And now a couple little foot sweep attempts. And Kev's going to look here to pull guard. There he goes. Foot on the hip, down he goes into the guard. De La Hiva. Gavin doing a good job starting to pass immediately. Now in the half guard, Kev's going to get that knee back through to the Z guard position. A nice low knee shield, the same style that I play. And uh, trying to keep Gav off from passing there. Doing reasonably well. And Gav's going to try and shin flick through. Knee cut, start passing. Kev's going to get on the cross choke. And that's the end of the round. Good round.